one. Take your right hand over to your left knee and palm up. Over to the other side, palm up. Let's try and stay deep in our legs. Bend your knees. What a lovely, bright class we are. Beautiful colours. And lift. Good. Lift your chest. Slow down. We don't want to work fast today. We want to work slow and go deep into our legs. That's it. Breathe out. Breathe in. Calm. Let's restore balance. Lift the chest. Good. One more each side. Now pause and bring your hands forward. Find your elbows. Drop down deeper into your legs. Now breathe in and look up. Thank you for the sunshine. And slowly lower the hands. Come forward. Drop into your legs. Breathe in, look up, and lower your hands down all the way. Keep the chest up, come forward, drop into your legs, look up, and slowly lower. Good, can you feel that sense of calm and balance as you breathe and connect your breath with your movement? Drop into the legs, look up, and slowly lower. Chest is high. One more. Come forward, drop down to your thighs, then breathe in and slowly lower. Lift the hands to the side and take one hand over, chest to thigh. Sweep and breathe in. Come over, sweep and breathe in. Chest to thigh and lift. Good. Stay deep in the legs as you do this. Nice. Breathe out. Lift. Pull the shoulder blades back. Fully open the chest. Perfect. One more. Hold, deep knee bend, come forward, stretch your spine, drop into your legs, now breathe in, look up, stretch and sink deeper into your legs. Keep the chest high, come forward, into the legs, climb up and then show me your hands as you come all the way down, forward. Drop into the legs, breathe in, and exhale. Just give me one slow move through. So stretch the back, deepen into the legs, lift, and slowly lower. Good. Step in, shake out your legs, and just bring your hands onto your waist as you rotate your ankle. Round one way and round the other. Good. So let's see if we can hold it in a balance. Lift the knee a little higher and take the hands behind the knee. Pause there for a moment. Then one arm comes to the side, beautifully done, and the other, and hold. Let's take it into the crane, bring your hands slowly above your head, lead with your wrists and pause for a moment there and then open again to the side. Take this big toe and either bring it to the floor or wrap it round your calf. Bring this hand forward and this arm underneath and maybe it can rest there or maybe it can rest on your palm. Now your job is to sink into your legs, take the elbow forward, lift the arms, and look at your fingers. So your spine is long, your body is stretching. And then bring the hands forward, elbows into your chest, 
fingers feed forward, good. Keep trying to wrap my big toe around my calf, good. And then lift the arms all the way to the ceiling. Release the hands, press the palms together and keep the legs where they are, just for a moment. Release the hands, release the leg. Give me some strong, long arms and a strong, long leg. And then slowly take your time and see if you can touch the floor. Top arm to the ceiling, bottom arm touches down. And slowly stand. Shake out the legs. Move the other ankle. Mobilize all the way around in both directions. And then hold the knee into the chest, pull the shoulder blades back and hold that posture. Take one arm to the side. Take the second arm to the side, stay there. Pull the shoulders back, chest high. Now lead with the wrist slowly, all the way up. So you're hanging off your wrists. Lovely, open the arms once again, hold. Take the big toe. Wrap it around the calf, or if that's not going to happen, bring the big toe to the floor. Bring this hand forward, and the other arm under here, or higher, hand to palm, sink down into the legs, elbows and arms up. Stay with this, so your spine is really long. Then bring the hands forward. That's it, feel that across the upper back. Drive the hands forward. Well done, that's fantastic. And then stand up again. Good. Release the hands, palms together. And hold this posture with your hands above your head. Feel your chest opening. Squeeze those legs together a bit more. And then release. Take the leg to the side and the arms to the ceiling. Long arms, long leg and begin to travel. Look at the floor, look at your destination. See what you can do, possibly. Touch the floor and then climb back up. Bring your hands and foot down. Go back to your right foot. Take that ankle. Either rest the big toe on the floor or bring the ankle onto the thigh, the piriformis stretch. And then lift the arms. Fingers to ceiling, bum to floor, hold. Then open to the side, pause. And if you're feeling really good, bring the fingertips once again down to the floor. Now if you want, put both feet on the floor. You don't have to hold this posture. Now slowly bring the arms up. Slowly lift the arms all the way to the ceiling. Hold for a second here, feeling the stretch. And then stand. I'm going to take the same foot behind. See if you can sweep the hand to the foot behind you. Hold with your knees together. And then very, very gently tip forward. Well done, Angela. Fantastic. So again, look at your destination. Look at the floor in front of you. Bring your hand out in front or rest it on your supporting leg and feel that thigh stretch down the front of the thigh, through the front of the hip, and then come down. Work through your toes. Push your toes into the floor, lift your heels, Release underneath your feet and then do that on the other side. So, hands on hip, foot comes across or ankle on thigh, push your bum down. So it's like a ledge for your ankle. Make it harder by lifting the arms, dropping the shoulders. Open the arms to the side, pause. Then bringing the fingers down towards the floor. See where you can go. Where can you take this stretch? Good. 
then slowly lift your arms all the way to the ceiling. Give me a few moments here. Standing up and lift the same leg. Sweep it behind you with the same hand. Well done, Sue, well recovered. <laughs> Knees together, and then you start incrementally making that stretch bigger. Where can you take it? Find perhaps the inside of your foot and press the knee away. So really important if you've done a bit of walking this weekend to stretch the front of your legs, your thighs, free up the knees, open up the hip, and then slowly land. Shake out the hands. Pump through your feet again. Mobilize the soles of your feet, right up into your toes. Good, and add in the arms. Lift the arms, pump through the feet, stretch through the waist. Are you feeling that? Heel drops down. Look up, nice, good, fantastic. One more on each side. Now land the feet, bring both feet down and bring the hands so the little finger comes onto your thighs and then breathe in, thumb and first finger together, press back, slow, palms facing the front, brace your tummy, now bring the little finger down to your thighs. Give me a couple more of those. Open through the front of your chest, keep your neck still, close your eyes, Notice, experience, feel, think what's going on for you. Then bring the little finger down. One more of those. Lift. Beautiful. Long necks, open chests, palms facing forward, pulsing back. Good. Leave one arm in the air. Take the other hand onto your waist. Deep knee bend. Lift the rib. Over you go, stretch the waist and tip forward round the spine. Do that on the other side. Big breath in, deep knee bend, lift the ribs, stretch, tip forward round the spine. Can we do a couple more? The more you do, the more your body gets the message. Ah, we're releasing. We're comfortable. We can let go. We're slow. That's the conversation your body's having with you at the moment. <laughs> Up and over and tip. Last one on the other side. You'll notice how much more flowing, fluid, open, happy you feel. Shake out. I'm going to turn side on so you've got the back of the mat behind you. Lift your front knee and step your heel up, your foot back and bend the knee and then step the foot in, okay? So front knee lifts, front knee steps back on your mat, heel up and bend the back knee. How attractive is that? Bend and step in. Good. Front knee lifts. Front leg steps back, heel up, bend the knee. So this is level one. Make sure that you're happy. Make sure that you're confident. Foot steps in. Lift the knee. Step back, heel up, bend the back knee. Look at my shoulders. Some of you are tipping forward and feeling it in your front leg. You want to feel this in your back leg. Step in. Two more times. Lift. Back, chest up, knee bends, step in. Again, one more, lift, step back. So if you're on your mat, your mat will hold you steady. Bend the back knee and step in. Let's do that on the other side. So turn and face the other side. Lift the front knee, step the foot back, heel up, shoulder over hip, bend the knee and simply step in. Now lift the front knee, step the back knee, heel up, bend the back knee, and simply slide in. Again, lift, step, bend, 
and slide in. That's good. Two more like that. Lift the knee. Step it back. Bend the back knee. Use your thighs and slide the foot in. Beautiful. One more to make it slightly harder. Yes, please, Adele. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> slide in. Pick up your band. You don't have to use it yet. So I'm going to the original side. Lift your front knee. Step it back and bring your hands so that your band goes over your thumbs. And as you come back, pulse the arms as you go down into the leg. I'm going to do five. Five, four, <coughs> three, two, one. Step in. Give me five parallel squats. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Lift the arms, lift the knee. Step the foot back. Bend the back knee. Give me five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide the knee in or lift it. Put the foot down. Five pulses, band out in front. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the knee, lift the arms. So I'm doing all of this on the same leg. Bend the back knee, arms in the air. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide or lift the knee in. Foot on the floor. Five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the arms. Step back. Pulse. Five, four, three. Two, one, step in and pulse. Good. Let's do that on the other side. So turn, face the other end of your mat, lift the front knee, step the leg back, bend the back knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Either slide the foot in or lift the knee. Place the foot on the floor. Hands out in front of your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift and hold. Step and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift and hold. Step down and pulse. Five, four. Got the rhythm? Know what you're doing now? Lift the arms into the air. Step the foot back. Heel up, pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the knee and pause, get your balance. Place the foot on the floor, both feet, pulse, five, four. Good, well done. Lift the knee and hold. Step back and hold. Pulse, five. Heel up at the back, knee towards the floor. Lift the knee. Hold. Bring the foot down, arms in front. Five. We'll do it one more time and then we'll change the exercise. Lift the knee and hold. Step the foot back. Hold. Pulse. Five. Four. Lift the knee and hold. Press the foot down. Pulse. Five. Good. Turn and face the other side of your mat. Shake out your legs. As you do this, we're going to bring our hand forward and bring the elbow back and then forward. Elbow back. So once again, I'm using my front arm and then I'm going to put a little bit more on the band because I'm going to open across my chest. Yes. Make sure you're using your front hand to move. So have a look at me. Back hand, furthest away from me. Front hand, bend, open, bend, return. Bend, open, bend, return. Bend the knees, just move the waist, that's it. That's it, you got it. Four more of those. So you, some of you are not doing it facing me, Paul. <laughs> Try and do it facing me because I'm gonna add the leg. <laughs> Okay, let's do five more. So you're facing me. Smile at me. 
<laughs> Barry, swap hands. <laughs> Two more, face me. Thank you, Karen. One more, face me. Good, okay, add the knee. I feel happy, I feel safe that everybody's going to do it on the right side. Not. <laughs> Step that front foot back. Bend the elbow, open. Bend the elbow, close. Bend the elbow, open. Yeah, I can pull my legs in. How fun is that? Bend, open, bend, close. Bend, open, good. Five more, because I think we're just getting into the groove. Are you facing me? Yeah, pull it. Thank you, thank you, John. Now this time, stay open, facing me. Oh. Hum, hum, hum. Can't say it out loud, it's like Miranda's mum. Hum, hum, hum. She doesn't say the difficult words, does she? Oh, Mandy's adding pulses with the arms as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the knee. Bit shaky and shake out. So face the other way. And with the miracle of science, you're going to face me again. Lift. Sorry, I'm going to bend both knees and we're just going to do the arms. Elbow, open. Elbow, so you're not facing me. Face me. Other arm. Other arm. Face me. No, 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 not other side. Other arm. <laughs> so you're facing me. As you turn and open, you're facing me. That's it. Good. Lead with the elbow, open with the arm. You've got it, Kathy, you've got it. And move from the waist. Can you feel that happening in the waist as well as the shoulder? Now it will be easier to step the front foot back and it's the same foot as the arm. So you're gonna bend the knee, elbow, open, elbow, forward. Elbow, open, Elbow forward, yeah. Have you got the back heel up? Bend the knee so the knee's towards the floor. Thank you. Well done, Sarah. And the hips are facing the side of the room. You've got five more to go. And four more to go. So you're turning from the waist and the legs feel fab. Two more to go. And then we will open and hold facing me bend the back knee oh, pulse out if you can bend the back knee my back knee is almost at the floor not quite five four three straight arms two one and lift the knee oh that was fun shake out your hands let's come onto our knees on your knees, take your band above your head so that the band is directly above your head and the thumb faces down. The other hand goes behind your back and the thumb faces up, like this. Thumb up, thumb down. So take the top arm to the ceiling, up and lower, up, and lower, up and lower, good. So just the top arm, straight up above your head, that's incredible, good work. Keep your head still, don't let the neck take the strain. Tighten your tummy, and now both arms together. One arm up, one arm down, 10, good. Nine, look forward, eight, perfect. Seven, six, five, four, three, feel the triceps, two, and one. Let's release the arm. Before you do the other side, shake out, roll out your shoulders, then take the other arm up so the thumb faces down, and the bottom arm, the thumb faces up. So. You're going to take just the top arm to the ceiling, 10 of those. Look forward, 
on your horizon as you do this. Fabulous tricep work. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. You ready for both hands, both together? You'll thank me tomorrow. Both hands, both together. Ten. Breathe out. Nine. Eight. Good control. I'm loving your control. Seven. Six. Brilliant. Five. Good work. Four. Three. Two. And relax. Put the band down. Toes together, knees wide, still facing forward. Stretch your hands forward. A tricep stretch. We do them a lot. Elbows on the floor, hands above your head. Push the elbows forward, push your bum back. And then slowly climb up, facing the front. Tighten your tummy and let your hand drift side to side good side to side feel that in your waist look at your hand as it floats across the floor and the other hand comes right up underneath your armpit let your body feel acknowledge experience that waist stretch good Move slowly. And when you go over to this side, give me the pulses. 10. Big breath in. And over to the other side. 10. Look at your fingers. Look beyond your fingers. And big breath in. So give me another one of those on each side. 10 pulses. Breathe in, lift the chest. 10 pulses. Good, and breathe in, lift the chest. Take your hands behind your head, brace your core, rotate over to one side center rotate over to the other side four more like that and really good waist work over and center over and center good fantastic two more like that really good waist work brilliant one last one. Elbows as wide as you can, and if it's too much, just let your hands drop to the side. So what I'm going to ask now is you either bring your hands onto your waist or bring your hands behind your head, but the real crux is taking this leg out to the side. If you've had a hip replacement and you don't like the look of it, don't do it. Now you can either, with your hands on your waist, try that. Okay, so level one, both knees on the floor. Level two, hands on waist, one leg extended so the toes are facing forward. Level three, Sarah's there, let's follow her lead. Elbows. Bring the elbow to the floor, I'm jerking. <laughs> Climb up, elbow to thigh, elbow towards the floor. Good, elbow to thigh. If you're cramping up, pull, stop and shake, release. Do your hamstring stretches, do your quad stretches. If this is causing you to cramp, then look after yourself. If we're feeling dehydrated, then please hydrate, stop and relax, okay, and stretch. Let's do another four. Brilliant. Another. Three. Good. Last two. And last one. Perfect. So take a moment to rest, recover, have some water, and then take the other foot out to the side. 
toes facing forward, level one, hands on your waist, toes facing forward, that's it, and level two, extend the leg, and then when everyone's ready, level three, if you're ready, hands behind your head, ten of these, you count, elbow towards your thigh, breathe in, elbow towards the floor. Good. So this should feel like quite an intense waist exercise, but you're also using your legs, powering through your legs. So it's working two different areas of your body. If your hands are behind your head, then you're also opening your chest and working your upper back. Have we got two more? Fingers touch the back of your head. That's great, elbows wide. Last one. Fantastic. So climb up, release the arms. Come down to take a seat and let's just finish with a few band stretches because I could see people were um, tightening up. So put the band over your feet and tip forward for hamstring stretch. Walking down your band. This will be a great time to hydrate. See how far down your legs you can go. Look at your destination. Fantastic. Now if you're looking for something a little harder, cross the ankle over the other ankle and we start to stretch the side of the bum. Down you go towards your legs. And then climb up and take the other ankle across. Good. Fantastic. Really good work. Don't forget to subscribe.